I am Lucy May Barker and I play Sophie. I am Charlotte O'Rourke and I play Ali. I'm Leah St. Lewis and I play Lisa. It's so funny trying to describe a show that is so iconic and that so many people know the story of. Um, you know, so many people have watched the film and if they haven't, they've seen the musical because it's been on for 20 years. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a daughter who is looking for her father and it's all the fun of that along the way. No spoilers for if you haven't seen Mamma Mia, but if you haven't, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, I literally love this show she so loves much. The ABBA. <laughs> I love the other. But I really do, like, I've done loads of really kind of diverse shows and lots of, you know, worked with loads of brilliant people and on brilliant projects. But for somebody who grew up kind of obsessed with musical theatre, like that classic musical theatre, this just ticks all of the boxes for me and I don't think I don't think anything can <laughs> drag me away from the way that the audiences react to it. There was a review um, in year one of the tour and this lady had written Mamma Mia should be available on the NHS and that pretty much sums up how I feel <laughs> about it because it it literally bring it brings people absolute joy. People forget about the rubbish that's going on in the world and in their personal lives for a couple of hours of an evening and have an absolute ball. I graduated into the tour a couple of years ago and I was ensemble first cover Ali, second cover Sophie and had such a ball that I auditioned to come into the West End and was lucky enough to be offered Ali first cover Sophie. So that was that was my sort of transition. And yeah, I was lucky enough to tour with lovely Lucy. So I graduated early to join the company of Mamma Mia and it was all a bit surreal because I was like, is this actually happening? Like, what? But yeah, <laughs> um, every day, like before I go on stage, I pray just to stay grounded, to stay thankful, to be grateful for this opportunity. And yeah, I'm still like, wow, this is, this is happening every time. <laughs> I auditioned for it originally in 2015 and uh, played Sophie on the first UK tour um, and then I loved it so much I stayed for the second leg of the UK tour, <laughs> loved it so much again that I stayed for the international tour um, and then was yeah lucky enough to come and do it in London so this is my like fourth year doing Mamma Mia. Selfishly I, I do love the start our bits, all of our bits. <laughs> um, yeah. um, but I do, I think it sets up the whole show and it's like thrilling to be a part of. Mm -hmm. I love Honey Honey and I think for an audience it's great because they get all of that info straight away if they don't know it already, which I'm sure a lot of them do. But it's, and it tells you, it's very clever because often the first scene of a musical or the first scene of a play, you kind of have to give all the information to the audience in order for them to en enjoy the rest of the show and to follow it along. Um, and sometimes I think it's tricky to do that without having like information overload. So people are like, oh God, it, it started off a bit, oh, but then once I got into it, it's that kind of feeling. But I think absolutely not in this. I think it starts from a high point right from the very start of the show. Um, so yeah, I think it's great fun yeah. to do that. And we get the chance to play about with it and have some fun yeah. between us as well, the don't we? There's I mean, never like the same. We, genuine genuine we kind of have to fall, fall about the stage laughing <laughs> yeah. for like five minutes, all of which is pretty much real, so yeah. it's really good fun. Yeah, <laughs> really good fun. <laughs> <laughs>